Hi everyone. Hi. 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 So before I uh, start my uh, presentation, uh, I want to tell everyone to please stand up. Please. Okay, so we all move your hand like this. Like this. Three times. Okay, now I can see it. You feel good now? Okay, I think you feel good now. Okay, uh, so at first I want to say that I thank you so much to the First Asia to bring me here. This is my first First Asia. And let me introduce myself. So, my name is Mizanur Rahman. And I am from Bangladesh. And I am basically an information security researcher. And I am a Mo Mo Mozilla Raps, a Mozilla tech speaker. And you can also find me, that I am a food lover. So you can call me foodies. So let's begin my... Uh, presentation okay at first I want to tell about something about uh, Mozilla that what we are going to do or uh, what uh, our fo focus is right now so the Mozilla is basically to ensure the internet is a global public resource open and accessible to all and our mission is to an internet that truly puts people first where individuals can shape their own experience and where people are empowered, safe, secure, and independent. So today I'm gonna talking about here why web application security matters. So is uh, my presentation is basically an introduction of why web application security matters. So you don't need to be a tech guy or a geek guy. You can be anyone. So okay, let's start. So you might think uh, on my presentation that what is OpenSec? So OpenSec is actually uh, it's called Open Source Application Security. So we are here. Uh, it's called FOSS. FOSS is uh, free and open source software. So we are here to present to you an OpenSec that open source application security uh, things. So uh, most of us uh, code on open source at GitHub. We create software. We create tools. We create projects. But we are, no, no, not all of us care about the security things that it might be hacked or it might uh, our uh, my data can be stolen. So we don't care about this. And the other thing is why website is called why application security is very known and a common word in this work. So how many of know about OWASP? How many of you knew? Okay, that's cool. Uh, it's called Open Web Application Security Project. It's very known. Uh, it's like a very good documents on internet. You can learn about web application security. Uh, it's it's totally open source, and it's like they have a, a documents like a wiki page. You can learn about so many open source related uh, security projects. You can learn about the penetration testing. You can learn about uh, how you can secure yourself or how you can penetrate your system. So you can learn about the so, so many things on that. So the question raised all the time, why should I care about security? How many of you care about your own security here? How many of you? And how many of you don't? How many of you not? No one? Okay, that's good, that's great. So we all care about our own uh, security uh, when uh, I talked about uh, this kind of presentation in last one year. I see that most people don't care about security and I ask them why. They say that I don't need to care about Then I ask them, that, please give me your Facebook password. Then they don't give, give, give it to me. So, but it's fine now that everyone is care about security. Everyone is focusing on security these days and is going to very uh, popular these days right now. So uh, what is actually web application security? Uh, web application security is, uh, in my perspective, what I can say that it's not a technical thing, it's just like an attitude. So if your attitude is just like secure, you can be secure in online. But uh, here is that uh, what is web application security? It's a combination of people, it's a combination of process, in, and it's a combination of technology. So if you are people, if you can feel that you want to be a secure, or your system can be a secure. I, I think like in this time, uh, everything is hackable. 
if you go to the online or if you see the hacker one if you see the background if you go to the synod you see that in every day is google facebook microsoft lots of big organization is going to be hack hack someone uh, the security researchers are uh, reporting their bug so everything is hackable none of thing is ha secured but we have to care about it that how our uh, data or how how our uh, system can be secured okay so here is a cms open source and custom web application uh, application so most of the time uh, we ourselves use uh, cms uh, we use open source products we use our custom web application secure uh, web application uh, projects so most of the cms we believe that uh, just like wordpress if you we, uh, most of the people use wordpress on there for their website for their blog most of them use joomla so or other things but we don't think that uh, we believe that their system is very secure but uh, it yes that their system is secure but they have some lurkings on behind you on you you should put your password strong uh, uh, you should protect your admin panel so okay here um, the people process technology if you care about this all things like uh, uh, if we uh, raise awareness, if you do lots of training, if you uh, push lots of guidance, uh, if you secure our when we code, if you secure our development, if you secure our code review, and if you do security testing, security con uh, co configuration, <coughs> application files, <laughs> automated testing, then we might th say that yes, then maybe it can be secure. I am not telling that it can be secure perfectly 100% but it can be secure 95% if you uh, follow this process <coughs> okay so here I am telling about the key web application security vulnerabilities that have a session before maybe that that uh, talked about the uh, also top 10 uh, security vulnerabilities but I am just again uh, recalling it. Uh, there have some co co common security vulnerabilities have on online, and uh, one is uh, access as it means uh, cross-site scripting. They have CSRF cross-site request for it. They have session hi hijacking. They have a SQL injection. They have IDOR. They have RFI. They have LFI. They have RCE. So, uh, in every security vulnerability is very very critical and your data can be stolen by any of this so if you want to know more about this uh, you can go there they have a link on there you can go there you can learn more about it you can know more about it how this can be done or uh, how the hackers is hacking you or how you can protect yourself okay so I'm going to uh, describe you some little bit penetration testing uh, for the beginners to how you can test your uh, system or how you can protect your system. So let's get, get re ready. Okay. So the last one, first lesson is you have to be patient. You know her? Who know her? No one. Okay. No, no need to know her. <laughs> So uh, at first, uh, the security things that the most of the people think that is maybe so hard, uh, so I mean so hard. It looks like so hard. It sounds so hard, but trust me, it's not so hard. It's a funny work. It's a funny work, but you have to do passion in your, in in your inner that okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, the second thing is avoid operating system arguments, avoid browser arguments, avoid language arguments. Uh, it's not mandatory to uh, code in uh, C, it's not mandatory to code in Python, it's not mandatory to code in other languages. You can use any language, any language, if you code securely, if you code well, your system can be secure. So you don't need to arguments in any of things that uh, if I use Linux, my system can be secure, if I use Windows, my system can be secure, or if I use any other operating system, my system can be secure. It's not like this, you can use anything. Okay, 
the other thing is do not use automated scanners so we most people or those who uh, do penetration testing most of the people use the automated scanners and they think they scan why you would not find bugs they said they scan it by the automated scanners they bought the uh, the software and they scan it the software said there is no bug they said okay i am i am secure no one can hack me but trust me you are the most vulnerable person so uh, at online if you search on online uh, that uh, web application security scanner fast at fast you can find aquantix uh, or just like other softwares so uh, it's because uh, i am not saying that they are not uh, good but they are good but don't don't try to uh, use this kind of softwares it will be harmful for you it will be also stolen your data because this is not open source product so we don't know how these things are going on the side on your website so the second thing is learn to code i am not saying to uh, i put python first because i am a python lover but i am not saying you to write code on python you can you can write code on anything you can write code on php you can write code on um, anything whatever you like okay other thing what you can we can also so you might request on that do not use uh, op- sorry <coughs> do not use automated scanners so, so you you might question me the what we use okay they have several tools one this one is called babsu this is most famous on penetration testing system they have also jab security uh they has and map they have dinner the genes discovery they have firewalls all of this is security tools but this is not automated tools okay you have to uh, know fast that how these things can be done so that you can use their tools so this is just like a uh, uh intercepting tools uh you can intercept the browser request here then you can do something here on the inner side uh if you want to uh, uh know that why we can find you the bab suite can find this link the jab proxy can find this link the and map can find this link uh the this the dns recovery can find on this link and firas can find the, on this link you don't need to write up i will give them my slides so you can watch it later okay So now you might ask me that I am not a tech guy, I am not a gig guy, or I am not a hacker, I am not a security researcher. So how can I know the updated? The, because every day there have some security vulnerabilities rising, there have some um, uh, zero day rising, there have some exploits coming. So uh, you might ask yourself that how I can know that? How can I know that the updated exploits? Okay, there have several. Um, well, well, website the most famous one is called exploit database is called exploit db you can go there search your cms name or you can search anything there they are have every days they are have updated exploits updated they have another one is called uh, 1337 is mean lead day you can find on that site they have another one is very famous is rapid 7 you can also search on there you can just search on your C- cms system or you can search on your plugin system whatever you like you just need to search there if you find anything related your plugin related your cms related your software you just need to check and there have also patch have on there they will write that how you can patch your system so it is very easy and it's very effective to secure your system to secure your website in this time most of us have a website most of us like to uh, write blog so but we don't know that how our data can be stolen uh how things can be done okay so if you want to know more about the exploits things or the updated exploits you can find all of this on here there have some zero days which is <coughs> made by the hackers they don't like to be the disclosures this is the different thing but most pu- pu- public exploits can be f- found here okay so uh this place is not for the web developers 
but web dev i request uh, web developers to uh, practice on this ground but this is basically for the penetration testers who love to penetrate who love to um, break the system and who love to do some security researching so if you want to uh, be a hacker hacker uh, the uh, the word is just like people called it oh they are not good guy they are bad guy we have to avoid this trust me we are good guy we are not stolen your system we are just uh, we are just awarding you okay so if you want to start uh, presentation testing they have two open source tools one is called dvwa which is mean diamond vulnerability awareness this is a project this is an open source project you just need to uh, um, install it on your local host or you, you can install it on your web server or whatever you like that have all the common web application uh, vulnerabilities have on there so you can check you can test yourself the how good you are on the testing security they have another good one uh, i personally like this it's called bwapp so you can also install it on your system you can search you can find bugs or you can test yourself and to, to, trust me the secure web application security things or if you are be a pen, if you are a good penetration tester your career would be great because this time in this generation or next 50 years the security is, is researcher's salary would be the most highest one if you go to the hacker one, if you go to the background system, they have lost of freelancers. And you see that the last time I remember that uh, the two months ago, they have one Russian hacker, which is a freelancer hacker, who find a uh, remote code aggregation vulnerability on the Facebook. And just for one vulnerability, he burned at 40,000 US dollar. Just one hour work. Just one hour work. So, if you want to see, if you don't trust me, go to hackerone.com, go to backcrowd.com, just sign up there, you will see that how they paid. They have all the uh, uh, great organizational company have on there, just like, we, we might think that uh, the f uh, Facebook is very secure, they have good developers, Google is very secure, they have great developers. This is not like this. With the security researchers are securing them. They just pay back money to us. They have a pl platform called. They have their website. We test it. We report vulnerabilities on that. If this is valid, then they pay, me, pay, pay us back. So if you want to be a security researcher or if you want to uh, start your career on security field, I think I prefer you should choose this because you can be rich within one uh, a year you can be rich okay so there have one uh, this is our uh, very new uh, is web-based scanner just for developers it's called mozilla observatory it's made by mozilla so you just uh, if you have computer you can scan your website now so I can let me show you. Is there have internet on it? Internet? Okay. I don't see it. Uh, come, Dicky. Yes, sir. Is connected? Ah, yes, sir. Is internet connected? Okay. Open new. <coughs> Okay, so here is the website. You just need to go to mozillaobservatory.com. Uh, sorry, it's the, it's the observatory.mozilla.org. Okay, so you just need to go there. You can uh, scan your any website. If you scan, just like fossasia.com, you can see that what they are using what's not secure or how they can improve what have lackings on their site <coughs> so
So it's very good tools. Uh, you can uh, scan your uh, own website here. And it's totally open source, so you can also recommend us anything, or you can contribute on a GitHub. Okay. Okay. So here I said when I only care about security, I love to dance. And when everyone care about security, I love to dance with them. So I believe and I wish that in this room, uh, after my session, you all will care about security and you will try to learn more about web application security. And if you, if you have a domain or if you have a system or if you have a website or web server or anything else, you should learn something to know how you can protect yourself. If you are not interested in penetration testing, I'm not requesting you to do penetration testing. But if you have a domain or if you have a system or if you have a website, I'm requesting you to learn something a little bit about how you can protect yourself, how you can secure your system because in this time, uh, those have the data is every day the data is stolen you can see the big organization or big companies are stolen your data every time they are following your all movement they are following your all website they are following your all passwords everything so we have the rights to uh, protect ourselves we, our privacy is ours so i am requesting all of you those who have uh, who are not that much uh programmer or developer but you should try to learn something about your web application security or about your system that how you can protect yourself okay i'm done here uh any qu 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 question <coughs> okay please, uh, okay 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 please you can you Okay, uh, yeah, so okay. for web apps, right, they have many different layers, sometimes it has for user information and a lot more specific <laughs> information at the end. So uh, when we do these scan, like with the observatory, does it kind of drill down into different paths or? No, uh, it's just checking your data request, where it is going. You can, uh, okay, let me show you. So, so when I enter the, you know, it asks for the, the address, right? Okay. So do I enter the page with all the input fields or do I just put in the, you know, the, the, front, the front top page? No, no, uh, you can... I'm not a developer, so maybe... I'm yeah, okay, okay. You just need to scan that just a website link. You just need, you don't need to do anything. Okay. Just a website link. Or you can also, uh, if you are good in dorking, they have, uh, it's called Google Dork. You can add some line on that. But it's a tricky thing. But, but I'm requesting if you are a beginner, you just need to write down your website URL, just URL without HTTP. <coughs> just write down it, click scan, and see what output is going down. So I have used a tool before. Essentially, uh, you enter the URL and it does some basic checks on whether or not you're even using HTTPS. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even if you are, there are a bunch of things that it will test against your web server, so if it's Nginx or Apache or whatever, it will test a bunch of headers that you are uh, protecting yourself against with, with respect to, say, inside or the yeah, yeah, yeah. things like this. So it basically does a bunch of checks with respect to your web server, I would say. And that's where it gives you the entire report saying you need to protect yourself from incoming requests, uh, which are possibly malicious by adding these headers into your web server configuration. Yeah. I guess that's a good start, uh, you know, to have an intelligent conversation with my uh, tech guy. <laughs> okay, right. okay, okay. Like okay, 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 uh, okay. You have to Yeah, so I'm basically a freestyle web developer who focuses on front end. So I really love the content of it. So as a front end person, how can I make my websites more secure? Which is the one, one or two things that I can start working on and make my stuff more secure? The websites are not. Okay. Uh, I have a good, uh, great do 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 document for it. Uh, I, we have a booth on Mo Mo Mozilla there. 
uh, you should c c collect it for from me sure. after this session. Of course, I will. Okay. Anyone? Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And thank you so, mu so much to listen my bo bo boring lecture because the security lecture is called so boring. It's not interesting. It's not funny thing. They do not have any funny thing, funny image or just like things. But I tried to add some funny image here. Okay, so thank you so much again. And if you, if you want to follow me on the future, you can go. If you want to follow me on Twitter or if you want to check what I am doing, you can check there and that's it. And if you want to have a discussion or have chat with me, uh, there have a, Mo a Mozilla booth on there on the first floor. You can go and uh, meet with me. Thank you so much, everyone.